Please listen carefully. Hello and welcome to our cruise video. I made this video because in planning for the trip I was not able to find anything online that show some videos of the cruise ship, what activities are available and what the rooms look like. And the few that are on YouTube are actually commercial video and they're not um, you know, from the perspective of a cruise passenger. Um, this cruise is around the Western Mediterranean, starting off from CV Chiretta, um, Italy, and it visits um, seven or eight cities, uh, Spain, uh, France, and Italy, going back to Italy. Here is our room. This is a ocean view room. It is our first time in an ocean view room. Our previous cruise were on the inside room, and until you stayed in an ocean view room, you don't know what you're missing. I don't think we can ever go back to an inside room anymore. This room is really nice with the uh, balcony and it's actually big enough that if you're adventurous enough you can sleep outside at night although it's very bright outside uh, while the ship is cruising and while the ship is cruising is actually very relaxing with the rhythm of the sea and how smooth the ship is and talking about smoothness the ship is amazingly smooth i've been on other cruises where the ships were bouncing around even on on calm seas and I would get nauseated, not on this one. This one at full speed, 25 knots or so, I was never nauseated at all on the whole seven days. My wife and children are even more sensitive and they were not nauseated. Here we are at what they call the Royal Promenade. It's sort of like the town center of the ship. It's on level five and allows you to access the front and rear of the ships. <laughs> No, 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 we're not doing it. Okay. Guy at the map of Richmond yeah. Hey, Max, you hear that song? I do. Uh, hey, can I get it later? Later. So here you can see a lot of the passengers pulling their luggages around. It's um, uh, embarkation day, and that means they're picking up passenger, but the rooms are not ready, and these are early arrivers. And there's advantage to arriving early because uh, if you have one or two persons just watching your luggage, you can let your kids run off and do their things uh, on the uh, like this, swimming pool and athletic uh, level. Victoria, can I ask for your... It's the worst day ever. Really? Yeah. Okay, you know there's a flight leaving today. Oh. Did you want me to take you on that this flight? It's the best day ever. Oh, okay. What, do you, what about you, Max? What do you think of this? He, he's enjoying himself. One thing you'll notice with this video is how smooth it is, and that's because I have a stabilized gimbal, what they call an electronic steady cam. It allows me to hold my Panasonic GH4 um, in, a, in a very steady motion when I'm walking around with my kids. Um, with this kind of cruise ship, it's better to watch your children, but my son, having been on these cruises, he is. Um, savvy enough now not to stick his head between the railings and do stupid things that kids do when they're young. Here he is looking for something to eat and here he is getting ready to get onto the flow rider. The great thing about cruising is that if you don't like exercising and you like to eat a lot and just hang out, this is the perfect place to for, for your vacation. It's sort of like a floating hotel with everything presented to you including this flow rider. I'm pretty adventurous, but I don't like doing this one because uh, the few times I've done it, I've fallen off. And uh, there's no real graceful way of getting off these boards unless you're good enough to navigate the board towards the edges of the, uh, of the flow rider box there. You can watch this uh, rider as uh, I see he gets a little too cocky. Most people just tend to hang on to the board like the uh, young man on the left there or maybe get on their knees on like the young woman on the right there. Most of the passengers are Europeans. A lot of them are, are Spaniard and um, Northern Europeans. I was surprised at how little of the North Americans there were on this cruise ship. 
could be because of the um, terrorist attack in France and in, uh, in, in um, other northern Mediterranean countries. So this is all great for kids, but what about adults? Well, for adults, they have a lot of uh, places you can relax and get away from your kids. Um, one of them I would highly recommend is uh, what they call Central Park here. It's an open outdoor garden-like setting. Really nice, real plants, real trees. Um, relatively quiet and a lot quieter than the swimming pool area. And they have two restaurants and a snack bar. So if you are famished, uh, walking from one end of the park to the other, you can always stop by one of these places and eat. At night, there is a musician playing um, the classical guitar, uh, mostly Mediterranean uh, songs. And worthwhile to, to watch him. Uh, the, when we were on this cruise, they had a world famous musician, although I can't remember his name playing the guitar and we enjoy that a lot. There's, <clears throat> there's supposed to be a high-end restaurant here and we ate at the place, it's a steakhouse. We were not too impressed with it, so I don't think we'll go back to, um, to eating if we ever get on this cruise again. One thing to keep in mind is it's extremely hot in the summer in Italy. But when you get on the ocean, it's actually really nice. And that's why you see a lot of people just wearing regular clothing instead of tank tops or really skimpy bikini tops. But of course you can't be on a cruise without doing other activities. Listen to that background noise. That's recording of real birds. And one of those activities is going one of these um, sliding tube here. My kids went on it and they were not too impressed with it. Apparently they're, they're jaded because they've been on Six Flags, Universal Studios, and done all those other slides. So this wasn't that scary for them. So it's time to do some outdoor activities. And one of the outdoor activities that we liked was the uh, wall climbing. Although for me, it was too easy actually. Even on the most difficult level, I think for an adult, it's relatively easy if you're in good shape. Uh, for 10 or 11 year old, I think it's, it's fun and challenging. My son had some trouble getting on this wall, as you can see shortly. me scampering up the wall there. It was a race between my son and I. The, the secret to getting on this wall quickly is to, I mean, getting in place in line, I mean, is to, um, as soon as you put your luggage on your arrival day, get on, get in line, start using this because once the cruise ship is full you'll have a hard time um, getting in line to, to, uh, to do this. It takes at least an hour of waiting time just to get on this, the walk because there are, they, it requires three um, spotters or helpers.
these are not the only activities on the ship. There are quite a number of other activities like um, comedy shows, um, uh, musicals. Uh, but one of the shows that we really like was this outdoor Cirque du Soleil type of shows. All the um, um, actors in here are world class swimmer and divers and they put on an amazing show. We like it so much that I think we watch at least two or three times on this. So that's about it of all the highlights of this cruise ship. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments and I'll try and answer them.